What's up, world? It's another segment of Life with John Hawk. And it's me. Chilling. You know, it's a laid back, cool type person, I guess. Like, one thing about me, though, like, I ain't never really care about clothes and cars and all the fancy stuff. I ain't. I mean, I know you need money to survive and live, but it ain't never really been a, the most important thing to me. The most important thing to me has been finding, like, real people, like, real friends. Um, people that really genuinely care for you, love you. you know, that's that's what's always important to me. I mean, yeah, you need money to live. It's nice to look fly, have a nice car, nice house and everything. Yeah, everybody wants that. I want it. But that's never been my priority. Like, oh, they get to have this, that's more important. No, most important thing to me was real friends. Real people to be around. Real people that genuinely love me. Like, I mean, like a lot of people love me, thankfully, but like, I can be around some people who, like, you know, they act a certain way when they're around certain people. But then when they with you and y'all just chilling and they be they self, you know what I mean? I mean, they be they self when they with other people. I ain't trying to be like they be out there front or nothing like that. But I'm just saying, like, you know, this, this little, like, goofy stuff that they do, you know what I mean? Like, it's funny. It's, you know, I, I like it. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, everybody get their little, little thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, certain things, I don't do around just any and everybody. I only do around certain people. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said, man, you the funniest person I ever, I ever met in my, my life. I was like, how the hell I'm the funniest person you ever met? <laughs> it's like, I don't really say much, but it just, in my, well, I used to be like, I'm going to say like one sentence or just one phrase or something for the point. You know what I mean? And I just keep it short like that. People would just be laughing, even though I'd be joking, it'd just be a short little joke, but people be laughing each other off. I'm like, yeah, thank you, I mean, it was meant to be funny, but I'm glad you got it, I mean, think you would, but, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, but yeah, that's always been important to me, like, real people, you know? when you find somebody that's a real friend, that's true, you know what I mean? Yo, that's your, that's your, that's your dog, that's your bro, that's your sis, you know what I mean? That's your cousin, that's whoever, you know what I'm saying? Whoever the people is, whoever that person is, and they real in your life, man, you gotta hold on to that, yeah. You gotta hold on to that, right there. All that money and stuff, all that situations, man, money come and go, material stuff come and go, all this stuff come and go. In a relationship right now, it might come and go all together today, but who to say what happened tomorrow? You know? Something happened, get into an argument, disagreement, you know what I mean? Or know, somebody might have been doing something, kind of like, well, I mean, whatever the case is, tomorrow y'all can just be done with each other. Can't stand that much. Get them stupid mud. I ain't never speaking to them a day in my life no more. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Do your little things, man. Gotta cherish them. Hold on to them. Can't get that back. Can't get back time. Can't get back the time that you could be spending being happy. Enjoying yourself. Every second that goes by, it's a second of your life gone. That you could have been happy. Could have been enjoying. But instead, you was. Might have been mad. Might have been say, I don't know what the situation is. You know what I'm just. Probably wasn't happy. Might not have been happy in a situation you could have been happy because it wasn't, at the end of the day, that serious. But it turned out to be, y'all made it that serious. It didn't have to be. When you look back at it, be like, man. I ain't gonna need nothing for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know why I was tripping like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
people. That's how to do sometimes. Just you know, our trip. Hold on to small things. Yeah. Hear that? That's life in the background. Yeah. Life on this earth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, running around playing. That's just the kids. You got adults out here getting in out the car. Everybody just living life doing them. Uh, never know what they thinking about. I don't know what's going on in their life unless they invite you in. I mean, I don't really give a damn what's going on in their life, for real, for real, but I mean, ain't my business, I don't care. But I'm just saying, like, you, you don't never know. Like, you live right next door to somebody, you don't even know. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just be tripping off like nigga. You know I mean, I know it's just me, but I be tripping like that sometimes. You want to call it a trip, and I don't call it a trip, and I just... <laughs> but yeah, so um, my coworker, right? He wanted me to talk about how I feel about mandatory vaccine. Well, it's the John Hart show, Life with John Hart. This is just how I feel. How I think and see things. Mm, it's not the truth, not the fact. It's not, I mean, my words are not like, that's it, whatever I say. I mean, I ain't, but I'm just saying, like, this is just how I see things. But, uh, <clears throat> me personally, I ain't getting no vaccine. Like, for what? One, if I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die anyway. I'm gonna get the vaccine and that. I'm still gonna die. You know? Might die from COVID. You might not die from COVID. You know, might get hit by a car. No, you might, you know I, mean? I don't know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I ain't concerned and worried about not saying to just live every day like, man, fuck out of probably be dead tomorrow type shit. Nah, I ain't saying that. I'm just saying, like, what difference would it make if I get the vaccine and that? So, uh, me personally, I don't want to get it, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody say, yeah, you don't know what's in it, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Yeah, I mean, if you don't, people say, you don't know what's in the bottle of water you're buying from the store, you know, they might have put something in there, you right, they could have, I don't know. You know? But I just, my thing is, I want to wait. Since it's only been around for what? Like, in the 2019, getting the 2020, when it really started coming out, and whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, but, again, some change, almost two years, that this COVID-19, that who knows where it came from? After all these years we've been on this earth, like, how the hell COVID just pop up out of nowhere, people dying like crazy, and all of a sudden there's a vaccine for it, and, you know, now it's, Coming mandatory, you got to have it to go here. You got to have it for this. You can't work here without it. You can't do this without it. That thing, you know, he ain't gonna be able to shop or do nothing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, people back in the days used to talk about that market of beast and all that mess like that. People like, I ain't get no chip in me. I ain't let them put no chip in me. And blah, blah, blah. I ain't saying that this is what it is. I'm not saying that. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just saying, you know. Me personally, I don't want to get it because I don't know what it is. I mean, maybe I might hang around if I'm still here. Maybe I'll get about five years. Maybe I'll get five years. And then I'll see how y'all doing. And then, if y'all still alive, oh, y'all still here? All right, niggas still ain't doing something. He's still alive. Hey, praise. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh,. <laughs> Yeah, y'all still here about five years. I maybe I might, I might, I might get it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but then again, you know, I might. I don't know. There's things I want to do. Getting older, you know. Things I haven't done that I want to do. 
Still in. Yeah, yeah. Never been to a professional football game. Never been to a professional any. Well, I'm gonna call the tie with a task game a professional game. And, uh, but uh, yeah, I ain't know concerts. Been there. Been to a couple. Been out of state a couple of times. I mean, just you know the remote area, East Coast, maybe a little west, a little bit, not too far west. I want, but I don't want to do like to go to the. I don't know, Midwest, Texas, California, Vegas. I ain't never been to Vegas. You know? But then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, get the vaccine, the fly or anything, something like that. I don't know. And I might get put into a situation where I might have to get it. Or, you know what I mean? Something very important I ain't going to be able to accomplish or do. I don't get the vaccine, so I might have to get it. But hopefully, I don't get put in a situation like that. But until then, I don't want to get the vaccine. You know what I mean? If you do, maybe hey, that's up to you. That's your choice. That's the thing about this life. You have a choice. And that's your choice. You know? And you have, are the only one that has to deal with any consequences or repercussions that come from choice and decision that you made. So, you know what I mean? I ain't I ain't going down your bash or nothing like that forgetting. You, know, you did what you had to do. That was right for you. That's what was best. You know? Me personally, I mean, why I'm gonna get it for people still got it and still catching it. I got to go back every six months, every year for a booster shot. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. This, this happened too fast for me. You know, something just don't smell right. Something don't smell right about it. You know. Anyway, <clears throat> that's why I put this on. You know, somebody said, "God sent me down here and do cure, as a cure for us." All right. Okay, if God sent it down to, for a cure for us, then did God send down COVID too? So he can send down a cure for us or something? Because where the heck did COVID come from? Mm. Does everything come from God? Oh, God planned everything. Is. Okay. So did he send down COVID? Well, population control. Get some people up off this earth. Make some room and space for others to come. I might have sent down here to clear out a little bit. Then sent down the vaccine to kill everybody else. You know what I mean? I don't know. How they say God punished people sometimes back in the days. People were doing this and that. Sodom and Gomorrah. All the homosexuals and all of them. Killed, the, killed them all. And then sent down what? Missiles, rockets, stars, or whatever he sent, shot down from the sky, flipped the whole town upside down, and burned that joint, or whatever happened to it. Hey. All the other people got sick, got plagues, and wiped out the whole civilization and stuff like that. Yeah. What happened with Luke and them? A lot. And they was running away. The people was trying to do what they were doing there. Well, probably that's not, that is all to make them all. Anyway, you know what I mean? You get the point. What the hell I'm saying? That's what God did send that COVID for that. Like I say, I'm going to wait before I get that vaccine still. That's just my choice, my decision. If you want to get it, that's your choice and your decision. Bugs on here right now. Come over here and chill. But yeah, um, that's how I feel about it, I think. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't gonna get it. No. I just sit back and watch. Hopefully, all y'all who did get it, 
but everything is all right. <laughs> yeah, I swear, boy, I hope it is. Hope it ain't like they say. In the next two to five years, everybody that got the vaccine gonna drop dead. Like, what the heck? What? That's just what they saying. Somebody says, I don't mean it's the truth. You know what I mean? Uh, especially on something like that, I don't know. But yeah, so. I, mean, I hope that ain't the situation. Hope you don't start growing other arms and parts out your butt. <laughs> nah, that ain't really does that happen, but I'm just saying. You never know. You never know. Hey! People are like, yeah, I'm be on the safe side. I'm be on the safe side. I'm gonna be on the safe side for this one right here. You know? That's the safe side. I say some people did what they had to do. Did what they felt was best. Yeah. See what happened. Yeah, that's it. You know? If you got any comments or whatever, feel free to comment or whatever. Cool. Keep doing it, man. Listen, I don't know. Maybe I'll might say fuck it. I don't know. Shit. Anyway, keep doing it until I don't feel like doing it. All right, y'all. All right, peace. Foolishness.